Hey there, this is Tumok, and we just got done getting some artifacts for Odin. I just took the liberty of jacking a bike so we could get to the hip hop uh, relatively fast. So I have I have not practiced this mission. Well, I have been practicing it all for this and just <coughs> doing it on first takes. Of course, some of them turn turn into sink him up to like five takes for a mission. Ah crap, I was hoping that didn't happen. Of course, I should have gone up onto the upper plane if I didn't want to hit him. And we just gotta get to the hip hog, which is, since we can go through here, I think we actually go through a barrier uh, if we go through this direction. Yeah, right here, the yellow, yellow section of the city. It's much faster than just having the red key. Wait, key? Yeah, it's a key. This is Doom, though. By the way, I've only played the freeware version of Doom 1, so I may not know what I'm talking about. I have a proposition for you, Jack. Racing is the biggest sport in the city. Errol is the undisputed grand champion. He's crazy and dangerous on the track. <laughs> Mainly crazy. Kind of a guy. Only a fool would dare race against him, eh? And that's where you two come in. You're, we're fools? He's looking for a fast driver for her racing team. Here's a security pass to get you into the stadium section. Uh, and your contract with just a few trifles for me. I love what this contract I've says. Signed your name to save it's time. so fourth wall breaking. It's hilarious. Hey, the racers hereby agree to give crew all proceeds from race earnings, endorsement fees, broadcast royalties, syndication residuals, vehicle sponsorships, small appearance fees, collectible card assets, fast food tie-ins, use of likeness rights, talk show deals, clothing lines, all print rights, including book, novella, comic, pamphlet, ticket tape, neon sign, and bathroom graffiti designs. Toy <laughs> <laughs> uh, rights, shoe lines, mood rings, game rights. Game rights? Vitamin endorsement, city that one. movie deals, and of course, all death and dismemberment accident insurance claims. <laughs> we can work out the tiny details later. If you can get I may have to destroy you with your own load of fat. In less than three minutes, my client said she would consider letting you drive for her team. Make me proud. Mm? Now, I have done this mission with just the red axis route available. But it is really hard. Of course, this access route might be really hard as well. Now this, I believe this is a, a medium dura uh, durability bike, but it's on the faster side. Of course, that being said, it's being a bike, it still blows up fairly quickly, and I hope I do not get destroyed by the Crimson Guard on this run. I do not even need this. This is hard enough on its own. So, I'd say stay on the low path as much as possible. Since I'm saying that, if you have to go through the red section, I think it requires you going through the slums, which the ground's uneven there, which would mean it would pop you up and slow you down. Uh, I love this. I think this might be called the cultural section. Oh man. Alright, just go through here. Oh, there is a a reference to I believe it's going commando in this section. Uh when I go back through here to do some missions, I'll try to find it. I'm sure most of you probably already know about this, because I'm sure most of you have actually played this game. Uh, let's go through the canal since I believe this is Kind of how I went up at precisely the wrong time. Just, anyway, going through the canals, I believe, is a slight shortcut. Alright. Uh, yeah, like right here. You'd have to go around. So, there's a slight shortcut for you. And here is the arena! See these posters? Yeah, we'll be taking those down soon enough. Wait a second. How long does the Crimson Guard actually stay on me? That, that was a fairly fast run. Uh, hello? Crew said someone was looking for a race driver? I'm busy right now. You must be Crew's new errand boy. Look, I 
don't mean to be rude. You did get here fast. But I'm not interested in any new drivers right now. And I've got work to do. What the hell? Then why'd you send the letter? Can do? No! I'm uh, working on a secret uh, uh, vehicle project. Okay, sorry. Listen, if you think you've got the guts to race in this town, try taking my prototype jet board out on the stadium court. Jet board? Beat the stadium challenge, and maybe I'll consider you for my team. How she said she needs racers. I'm assuming Errol killed all of them. Or so arrested all of them. So why is she being so picky? Alright then, to the stadium. Well, that, we're already at the stadium. What am I talking about? We gotta go to the jet board field. Which is actually set up right now. And the obviously the built-in jet board tutorial. I love the jet board. You can get a higher jump by before you jump. And same stuff as normal you jumping. Yeah, when you get the when you get that uh, shockwave, that means you got a boost jump. Uh, I don't think. Oh, all right. I thought you couldn't get off the jet board during this section. Of course, thing with being led with jet board it actually bounces you back. All right, lady. Come on. Uh, why do I always have trouble with this? There we go. Ah. Holy crap, I actually missed on the first try. Oh. Usually I just try and to jump on rails. In fact, there were, uh, did ne never mind. You, yes, you are able to get a jet board later. Let me see. There we go. Yeah, it's just R1 tricks. I don't think the points really matter that much. Yeah. How I do this, I just pretty much just rotate the controller in random directions. I don't think there's really much skill to this. There might be. Uh, don't get off the jet board. It's like Tony Hawk Pro Hover Light. Oh, we already got the the goal. Let's see if we we can try to get the bronze. Probably won't happen. Yeah, all those uh, shiny lights you see, those are. Uh, kind of like the, I think they're like the snowflakes in SFX. Not, they won't boost your, they won't give you a multiplier, I believe. They'll just give you like a hundred points. I think if you do a trick while you're getting them, they give you considerably more. Uh, almost got bronze. I think gold is like 250,000. I'm probably really off on that number though. But I'd say you'd only care about that if you're trying to 200% this game. Uh, we don't get to keep the jet board. Hashtag sad face. I'd say that's like Psy emo tier lately. 
Alright, let's go back to whoever this is. And yes, I do actually know who this is. And our bike's still here. Amazing, it didn't despawn. We beat the stadium challenge. Great. People do get lucky. Listen. Don't you have someone to collect money from, or beat up, or something? You don't we like can beat up anyone. <laughs> you work for that slime ball crew. What's not to like? Looks like you've won a few races. Isn't it true the city champion gets to tour the palace? Yeah. When'd that come up? Could you get me into the palace? A friendly visit, I doubt. Yeah, I'm a real fan of the Baron. Okay, I'll help you out if you stop bothering me. I saw an old maintenance elevator at the base of one of the palace support towers. That old lift might take you up to the palace, if you can find a way to turn on the elevator's power. Power? Sounds like a job for Vin. It's like, oh yeah, I forgot I don't have the jet board. Because I I was just smashing R2. Let's uh, get this one. I think this one might have the highest durability of the bikes. Of course, not counting the Crimson Guard bike. All right then. Uh, should we actually let's let's go to the idol first of all. Not that it particularly matters for plots. All right, all right. I thought I almost hit him. Well, I did almost hit him. I just dodged him. Uh, ah, highest durability, maybe, but I'm on fire. Need new bike. Screw it. He drove away too fast before I could, could jack him. Let's keep going. This is Unit Alpha. We're on route. All right. Then. Oh, I. I probably should have said this the first time going through here, but you should probably stay on the upper plane or else you could be running into a lot of docks and destroying your vehicle quickly. Alright, there we go. What does the idol have to give us? The metalheads have always feared you, angry one. Even now, the metalhead leader realizes you can destroy him and save the last chance for our race. You now have control of another dark power. Dark Blast. It's the same one, but in reverse. More aerial based, obviously. And see, when he teaches you, it doesn't use a Dark Jack. Not that you could use that for getting Dark Jack back quickly, since going there won't recharge it. Alright then, let's go talk to Ben. Oh, okay. That's never happened before. that the people take you away someplace far away where you can't reach them so that's that's the underground goal anyway to put it nicely oh all right I thought I hit that guy like I particularly care about hitting civilians I just want to avoid hitting crimson guard Try not bailing our vehicle. Suspect's description. 
when we get to the walkways this time. And crap. Just ran one over. Wait a second, am I going the wrong way? Yes I am. Or am I? I keep missing my turn. I keep missing, like I said, I keep missing my turn. There we go, we're almost there. And wrong way yet again. Let's, let's keep going. Keep going. Good thing the Crimson Guard aren't very fast, or else I'd be dead. I might be dead. Wait, that one just had a zapper, and as did that one. <laughs> Leave, so the door will open. Ow. Finn, we need your help. Finn, buddy, we need a favor. I can't help you with your eco bill. We need you to switch on the access elevator in one of the palace's support towers. Sheesh. That's part of the old B-Zone power grid. It hasn't worked for years. Well, Isn't that your job to get it working? You, I understand. Power stuff can be tricky. Tricky? Huh. I could route the B-Zone conduit lines through the bypass grid, shunting past the eco rings to connect inductor tubes in series, then back through the outer wall insulator helix and across the resonant flux routers into the number five capacitor array. Assuming the surface is GX75B can handle the search, I could link the phase loop lines into the primary coils, and presto, you've got instant lift juice. Finn, you're a genius. Uh, actually, Mar was the genius. People say he made most of this stuff long ago. The shield wall system, the eco grid. Anyway, to get that elevator and moving, you gotta find and turn on all the old B zone power boxes located in the city. There are five of them. That doesn't sound so tough. No, except those power boxes are guarded by motion sensing turbo cannons. But if you can oh, turbo the cannons and switch the boxes on, I can do the rest. Just don't tell the Baron I ever saw you. Why would we even tell the Baron about you? It's like, holy crap! Whatever. We'll do this mission in the next part. This has been Tumok. See you.